The Baltimore Ravens had the best defense in the NFL in 2023. They led the league in a ton of defensive categories, and they did it by having a huge front seven that could dominate up front. Then they had a crazy blitzing defensive scheme that was incredible at generating pressure. Then to top it off, they had a very good secondary with a ton of playmakers on the back end, allowing them to win matchups defensively in a ton of different ways. So in today's video, I'll show you how we can recreate a ton of what the Ravens did in Madden. We will be basing our defense at a dime two, three will and dime one, four, which can really help us recreate the creative and amoeba fronts that the Ravens ran in 2023. And all of this will be run out of the Jacksonville Jags playbook. So this dime Ravens defense is actually part of a bigger defensive scheme I created called my Ravens attacking defense. And it is going to have three different elements all out of the Jags playbook so they can all be used together. First, we have my 2000 Ravens scheme that is going to be run out of the three, four formations in the playbook and is great against those heavier single back and I form offenses. And it is really going to let us stop the run up front and unleash some crazy blitzes. Then we have our 2023 Michigan defense, which also comes from the Baltimore coaching tree with two of their defensive coordinators going to Michigan. And this is going to be based out of nickel two, four and nickel two, four, five odd. And this is a great balanced defense that can be used against any opponent and also has some incredible blitzes in it. Then lastly, we have the Ravens dime scheme that is going to be great for those spread passing games because we are going to have so much speed and athleticism on the field so we can match up with those pass heavy looks and the blitzes and coverages we can throw at offenses are going to be unlike anything they have played against before. I'll link the playlist for the whole defensive scheme down below in the description. Now for this dime defense, we're always going to be starting in Mike SS3 seam in dime 1-4. This is automatically going to bring down one of our linebackers on the line and bring our dime back closer to the line of scrimmage. Also, now we can audible to any of the other plays in dime two, three will or dime one, four. And these players will stay in the same spot of the field, no matter which one of the defensive play calls we audible to. Now, having these players down in these spots will allow all your blitzes to come in so much better. Plus, because everything's going to look the same pre-snap, it is going to let you disguise your coverages. Now, here's what we're going to set our audibles like for both of our two dime formations, then make sure when you're actually going to call Mike SS3 seam in dime one four, you go to the D end pass rush package. This will let you audible between the two dime formations. Then here's how you should set up your coaching adjustments. I do like to play with auto flip off with this defense, and that is fine in these dime looks because they are balanced defensive looks with an equal amount of players on both sides of the ball. So not having auto flip on won't allow how often is to outnumber you on either side, but it just makes the blitzes a little more consistent. And during the 2023 season, the Ravens dominated on the back of their front seven, pressuring QBs and racking up a ton of sacks. They brought a ton of different styles of blitzes to help disguise their intentions on the back end. And this just made their blitz packages even more effective. And this allowed them to lead the NFL in sacks during the 2023 season. So to recreate this, we're going to have a zero man blitz and a cover three blitz that will look identical pre-snap, but now we can cycle between them to bring pressure in different ways and change up the look on the back end. Then this will force some bad balls into coverage. The first blitz we're looking at here is Mike SS3 seam and dime one four. And this is gonna let us get some great edge pressure with one of our DBs coming in unblocked and he should get in on the QB very quickly. Now to set this up, you wanna call Mike SS3 out of the huddle. Then you just wanna QB contain and then user the linebacker who's on the line of scrimmage and that is the whole setup. Now you'll get that free rusher busting off the edge unblocked at the QB. So this blitz is going to be a great option if they send everyone out on routes including their running back. Now your nickel is just going to be coming completely unblocked off the edge most of the time for a ton of free shots. Then this kind of crossing twisting look on the outside can cause confusion and the O-line will overshift to take the edge and this can also leave the blitzing linebacker coming from depth with a wide open lane in on the quarter back. Then for the coverage aspect of this play, we will have a cover three deep shell that is responsible for all the deep shots over the top. Then we have the flats and we can mess with the shading so they can come down at really aggressively and take away those easy plays underneath. Then as the user, you're just patrolling the whole middle of the field. And with the blitz coming in, it should be speeding up the QB and you 
just want to pick up whatever you see coming over the middle and it should let you make a ton of plays. Then next we have DB Sting and Dime 1-4 and this is going to be an all-out pressure look designed to get multiple free rushers in at the QB and just get an insane amount of pressure on him. For the setup, you want to start at Mike SS3 seam, then at the line, audible over to DB Sting. Then you just want to use the linebacker on the line once again, then QB contain, and that is it. Now this should allow us to get a free rusher coming off each side of the ball to, to crank up a ton of pressure on the QB. Now if they send out all five of their eligible receivers out on routes so they don't block their running back, then a ton of the time you're going to get both your blitzing DBs coming in free off the edge, and this is just going to be crazy pressure. Then if they end up blocking their running back, you're still going to get one of your blitzers free off the edge, making this an amazing blitz to add to the scheme when you want to bring in all out pressure look then for the coverage aspect on this play it's going to be a zero man blitz that means it's an all out blitz with one-on-ones across the board so here we need athletic players who can hold up on the back end and stay step for step with receivers and break up balls or if they get the chance they need to be able to step in front and make a play on the football then as the user you're starting out on the line but you're just going to have whichever wide receiver tight end or running back is going to be uncovered and if he goes out on a route you just want to run with him and try to lock them down and then if they do throw you your way go make a play on the ball then the ravens also brought to the table a very creative and deadly blitz package that they would bring out on third downs in obvious passing situations that really helped take their defense over the top a ton of the time this would start with players all along the line of scrimmage mugging gaps and overloading certain sides of the ball then at the snap some would come on blitzes and others would drop into coverage leading to a ton of confusion for offenses where the ravens defense could capitalize they also had a ton of speed in their front seven that helps make their creative blitzes even better with players like Clowney coming off the edge then super fast linebackers like Patrick Queen and Roquan Smith being able to make plays all over the field. Now the first creative blitz we are looking at is Oki Roll 2. Now this is going to be an overload blitz that is going to let us really put a ton of players on one side of the ball making it super tough for the offensive line to adjust and it is going to get us a ton of free rushers in at the QB. For this blitz come out Mike SS3 seam, then audible over to Oki Roll 2 at the line. You'll see the defense is spread out, but right away, you just want to flip your play when you're at the line with the square button, then R2. This is going to bring everyone down on the line and give you that overload look. Then for the setup, just QB contain and user the linebacker who's on the line on that overload side. And now after the snap, you will see you'll get crazy pressure from the overload that is going to cause a ton of issues. Now, the main part of this blitz is going to be the outside DB on the overload side side is going to come in free and unblocked off the edge and he's going to get there very quickly for nasty pressure. Then sometimes the O-line will overshift to the outside and now the inside defensive lineman is going to be coming in unblocked and the outside player will get blocked and this is just going to add a whole nother wrinkle to this blitz. Then on the back end we have a cover two shell so it's going to be two players deep really trying to lock everything down over the top. Then you're going to have two players in the flats trying to shut down anything quick and easy underneath. Then you're also going to have a linebacker vert hook over the middle that can help you lock down the middle of the field. So you'll have that and the user really helping over the middle, even if this blitz doesn't come in. Then the next creative blitz we are looking at is Max Sting 3. This is going to look more like the rest of our blitzes pre-snap, but now we can get this nasty user rush right up the middle in the QB's face. Here once again, starting Mike SS Blitz 3 and Dime 1-4, then Audible over to Max Sting 3, and here you just want to QB contain and user the linebacker on the line of scrimmage. Now this blitz can get you a free user rush up the middle right in the QB's face, but it also can let your DB come free off the edge for some really fast pressure. Now this is how the setup works most of the time, and the O-line is going to spread to the outside and leave a wide open lane up the middle that you can just bust right through at the snap for a free shot in the QB's face. But then sometimes the O-line will actually collapse down and be there to block you. And if this happens, we would just want to bail out and peel back over the middle and try to get under any routes that are coming free. And you can get some really nasty lurks on this underneath coverage. And then if the O-line blocks down to take away your user rush, now the DB 
is going to be coming free off the edge and you just want to peel off cover over the middle and you're still going to get that unblocked rusher off the edge making this blitz even that much more deadly then if you want to take this defense to the next level you need to check out my website scheme kings up right now is part two of this video where i will give you five more plays for this 2023 ravens d and these include some great zero blitzes some nasty zone blitzes that are really going to let you add a ton of more pressure and then we also have another really good coverage that you can mix in off the blitzes as well then there's more videos on the site breaking down the 2000 ravens defense and the 2023 michigan defense and these can all be run out of the jags playbook and this is going to make this one of the best schemes in all of madden 24 then also on the site you can find four of my other full schemes that are out so far for madden 24 with my nfl spread offensive scheme my georgia bulldogs match based defense my wide zone offense and my nfl mount rushmore offense you can also get access to my playbooks on scheme kings which are full written breakdowns for my schemes and i have 10 out so far with my newest being my mount rushmore offense that is 66 pages long and will make running each one of these schemes so much easier and so much more effective then there's also a sale on the site use code ravens at checkout for 50 percent off your first month and this is going to run till march 21st if you want to check out scheme kings it will be linked down in the description below then coverage wise for the ravens they had a very talented secondary with a ton of playmakers on the back end like their moving chess piece safety kyle hamilton and their lockdown corner marlon humphrey and these players could just move all around the defense and make plays in a ton of different coverages whether it was man or zone giving their defensive coordinator a ton of flexibility on play call and ability to adapt to anything that offense is through their way and all this led to the ravens allowing the six fewest pass yards per game in the NFL in 2023. Now to wrap up this defensive scheme, we need a coverage that looks the same as our heavy blitzes pre-snap, but then we can change it up and drop into coverage. And with them calling passes to beat the blitz, this can really make this man defense tough to beat. And the version we're gonna be using is the cover two man call in dime one four. Now to set this up, we just wanna start in Mike SS blitz three, then audible over to the cover two man in dime one four. And this is just gonna be a man coverage look across the board. That will be a really nice counter off our blitzes and then we are going to have two deep defenders over the top zoned up helping take away any deep shots now this is just a cover two man defense so there's not a ton to go over but the main thing i want to focus on is who i like to use her now for the most part i like to use her one of the two high safeties here so then we can just be free to roam over the top and help take away anyone you see come open and you can just really make a ton of plays at this spot then you can also use her one of the two linebackers or nickel players underneath and now we're just going to have man coverage on whichever player is our responsibility. And then if they stand a block, you can just really be free over the middle and help on anyone you see. Or if the player you're responsible for leaves on a route, then you just want to take them and cover them across the field. Then for this defense, we do have a four man rush up front. And if they're calling plays to beat all the blitzes we are sending in the rest of this scheme. Now, when we switch up our look and play coverage, this can really give them some issues and allow that four man pass rush to get home. Now with just what you have here for this 2023 race, Ravens defense, you're going to be in a great spot. But remember, there's part two of this D up right now on Scheme Kings, and this is going to make this defense even better. But then if you want to deep dive on the history of the defense, the personnel and ability you are going to need to use this Ravens scheme to its full potential, then you need to check out the intro video for this scheme right here.